Hey everybody, so my wife got this uh, Hampton Bay Adirondack style chairs for her birthday. We got a pair of them. Um, they're unfinished. Uh, luckily for me, they come already partially put together. Uh, you can see the design here on the wood. I'm a little worried that that may show up a little weird once I uh, stain and um, once I stain these things and then seal them. But uh, I already put one together and that's what it came out looking like. So that's, uh, there's the hardware. Uh, very simple, a couple screws, the old Allen wrench, uh, almost like Ikea-like, if you will. But uh, what we're going to do is we're going to take some uh, 220 sandpaper, and we're just basically going to scuff this uh, unfinished wood. Okay, so here's what I'm using to stain. There's the uh, two gloves from the last murder I committed. And then I'm using the Minwax wood finish, which we're going to put two coats on. That's what I did on that chair over there. And that's gonna take a day to dry basically between the two coats. And then uh, I'm gonna polyurethane it uh, once just to seal everything in. Now, I'm gonna tell you this, please. Whatever you do, don't shake either one of these. Just stir them because if you shake this one, you're gonna be dealing with air bubbles from the time you start uh, staining it till the time you're done staining it. And they're a pain in the butt. Don't ask me why, that thing likes to hold air bubbles, but if you shake it, uh, you've done yourself a disservice. Okay, so you can see I got these. This is what I'm going to stain it with. This is what I'm going to wipe it down with. And uh, then I'm going to use a uh, sponge for the urethane. So yeah, Central Texas, it's hot as balls out here. I don't know what else to describe it. It's going to be like 100 today. They said it was going to be, a, a, we were going to get a, a cool snap next week. It's only going to be 95. Go figure. So uh, I'm just going to take, take this towel right here and I'm just gonna wipe these down. I'm gonna put gloves on so that I don't touch and leave any oil from my fingers on the wood, but I'm just gonna wipe them down and get the dust off and then uh, I'm gonna start staining. Okay, so I took four of these towels, I folded them into a square. Uh, they're lint free, obviously. I've got my stain there and all I'm gonna do, honestly, I'm gonna try and do this filming freehand at the same time, is I'm just gonna take it and I'm gonna smooth it on there. Just like that. And honestly, I'm just gonna do it all the way around it. So I'll see you again in a few minutes as I get it done. This is literally, this is it. So just dip in some more. If you see it darker in one spot, just go over it again and it'll spread it out. So anyway, you get the idea. I'll be back in a few when I have these pieces done. When a few, I mean like 30 minutes. Okay, so there's first coat. And don't worry about those holes where the screws are. Uh, I got a little trick at the end to uh, get those all colored in. And we're gonna let this dry for like two hours. Hopefully, mother nature doesn't screw me over on that. No rain in the forecast today, just tomorrow. So I want to get these two coats on and then I'll uh, put this in the garage to uh, dry overnight, I guess. So it is drying super fast. I just put a second coat on here on those. I haven't put a second coat on this one yet because I needed to do the back and then I'll flip it over and get a second coat on the front. And unfortunately my murder gloves got a hole in the finger. So anyway. Letting it dry for another two hours. Probably gonna let it dry overnight and then I'll uh, lacquer it tomorrow. Not looking too bad. Okay, so don't make fun of my hat. That's my yard work hat. I just mowed like the yard front and back. So uh, let's see here. So we put uh, two coats of, or I put two coats of uh, stain on. Uh, you coat the first coat, you wait two hours and then you put the second coat on pretty simple it actually dries pretty fast at least out in this Texas heat it does and then I waited a day and then I went with the uh, fast drying polyurethane here I'm going to show you hold on a second here so there's the urethane also make sure you have either a very very good brush or I use the, uh, the sponge there and that actually helps get in all the cracks and crevices there but uh, all of this has been urethane it's drying now what we're going to do is I'm gonna wait till tomorrow because it needs at least six hours and then you 220 grit you can get a 220 sponge um, lightly scuff it wipe it down make sure all the dust is off and we're gonna put one more uh, one more coat of urethane on there and then it should look like this 
This is the one I did a week ago. So. Okay. We got all the pieces done. They've been stained twice. Uh, I used the, um, the polyurethane on it and they've been drying for a couple of days now because I haven't had time to put them together. But uh, here we go. Instructions, everything you need. There's everything. We're gonna put it together. And by the way, follow the instructions. When it tells you not to tighten something down completely, don't do it because <laughs> there's a reason, obviously. Okay, so you can see, it just shows you uh, putting the two legs on. Just follow the instructions. Like seriously, I'm not gonna show you every bit and piece of this, but that's how it's gonna start. And when it says don't tighten it down, it means don't tighten it down. I would also look at these instructions so you can see what's going to be facing you. Uh, so you can make sure when you're staining that it all looks uh, relatively the same shade, if that makes sense. All right, so at this point, front legs, back, back brace. Uh, none of this has been tightened up yet. It's only hand tightened. It tells you that in the instructions, but right now we're gonna put in these in here and in there and this is the only really tricky if you will point that uh, I found in this which is putting the actual back on which we're going to do in a second because the first time I did it I had it backwards okay so I did it again so I'm going to show you here what I did so you don't have to worry about it Here's the chair, this is the back, that's the front. These are slanted that way up. They need to be slanted up toward the front. So let me just turn them around real quick. Just to show you, we have these two little metal posts in here like you would get for something with Ikea. You just put them in there, and then they're going to slide in here and lock with that. If you can see what I'm talking about there. So. All right, so basically what you do is you get these two bolts put in and only threaded underneath with a washer and the, uh, and the nut for maybe like a thread or a thread and a half because that allows you to move this up and down to get the pin in here and uh, on both sides, obviously, and then tighten it down and then tighten it down. Okay, so we're putting the arms on and the way I recommend doing this is you put the bolt and the nuts here first on the back that's uh, part number AA, FF, and GG. And then leave it hand, don't even hand tighten it, just leave it loose. And then we're gonna go to the front and we're gonna put these in right here. Okay, and this is the most vital part. This is why you leave all of these bolts loose so you can move these back and forth and uh, manipulate them to get this lined up. So also remember the nut and the washer go on the outside of this one don't want them sticking in because you don't want to uh, scratch yourself right here when you're sitting down. So hopefully you can see how this has to be done. Don't be afraid to squeeze it, it's not going to break. just go back through and tighten everything up and you're done uh, if I wasn't if I wasn't uh, recording this it probably would have taken about 15 minutes to put it together the uh, the other good thing about this company is they send you one spare at least one spare of everything uh, I guess you know I didn't have any issues with any of them being broken or missing or losing them but uh, especially the washers and the uh, and the nuts there obviously Okay, so there's your Hampton Bay wooden Adirondack chair, and we went from that to this. There they go, they didn't turn out too bad, right? Not bad at all, again, uh, thank you for watching. If this helped you out, if I could get a thumbs up and a subscribe, and I'll have another video to you soon. Hopefully you just enjoyed that car driving past. It's always so inopportune when I'm filming outside.